Hello and welcome to part 13 of finding your way around the Panasonic Lumix FZ2000, FZ2500 and FZH1. Part 13 of the programs that I'm putting up will cover... I just thought 13 is unlucky, just not for me and you, that's all. <laughs> and it's to cover registering your preferred settings and that's called the custom mode. And then we'll do some cover of the recording using your registered custom sets. I think you're allowed three, I've not even looked at it yet. I will. And we'll cover focus, brightening and color tone. All those settings. This is all adjustable uh, to suit yourself. And we'll look at automated focusing which is good. It shows you that all the different effects are the different sorts of focus you can have. It's AFC, AFT. There's also a manual there, but we won't go into that yet. And I hope you enjoy it. We'll put different pages of the manual on as and when it's required so you can read about it. <laughs> Right, we're going to show you registering your preferred settings in custom mode. Now I'll put the pages on, there's two pages after this little bit, just to leave you something to read. You've got three custom settings, C1, C2 and C3. The initial settings of the program AE mode is registered as the custom settings initially. That's when you get it new. Now, you have to preset your camera to what you want to do. I've set mine, I think this is on program mode. Yes, it is program mode. Now, if you want to go and just pick something up on your customs, if you go, the C is there. Custom settings. You can either touch the red P there, which means I'm in program mode, and it says above it, very faintly, you might see it, C1. If I touch that, uh, sorry, it said C3. There's C1. C1, I've got saved as manual. C2, I've got saved as program mode. C3 isn't saved, it's a vacant one there. So it just saves the standard program mode again. I've not saved that. You can also get to it by using the menu set button. There you are. And it's easy. Just set your camera up to what you want. Go in and save it. It'll tell you how to do it on the pages I'm going to put up. It's menu, custom mode. That's the one with the spanner and a C after it. And then you go into custom setting menu. In fact, I might just show you that. We'll go menu. You want that C down there. So you highlight that side by pushing the arrow that way. And come down to the C with the spanner. And what you're looking for, you come back to this side there. And what you're looking for is customer got custom set menu. It's actually on it. <laughs> it doesn't say custom, it just says cost set menu. I'm going to save that with a menu button. And there they are. And you can save them that way. So several ways to save it. I'll put the pages on straight after this relating to this. These are the pages covering registering your preferred settings in C1, C2 and C3. I've got a couple I use, just one's a manual button so I can just go straight in and I'm straight into my manual settings without setting them on the camera. And this has got, you can see a recording using registered custom sets. Just stop it when you want to see it because at the end of the video you've got nine pages. So there's no way you're going to read it all in a hurry. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> this section is the adjusting the focus automatically. And by setting the optimum focus mode or autofocus mode for the subject to recording conditions, you can let the camera automatically 
I just focus in various scenes. That's the focus lever there. I'm just going to put the camera on. That's the focus lever there. And at the side there, it says AFS, AFF, AFC and MF. Manual focus is at the bottom. So you set the focus mode to AFS, AFF or AFC. I've set the lever to AFF, AFS and you come to here and there's like a little window on the left hand side of that arrow, uh, the arrows. ISO, WB, white balance, autofocus at the bottom and the other side has a little window on it. We'll press that and that brings you up into AF mode. So you can select whichever AF mode you want. There's the 49 area. There's a pattern like that. Then there's that one area. And then you've got pinpoint. Which we would know as spot. But uh, the youngsters might not understand that. So spot metering. <laughs> tracking. And face and eye detection. We'll go to that one. The custom multi. And we'll set that. And that's it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I'll just half press the shutter. And you've seen the little green area light there. Oops. That's, oh sorry, I meant to show you that. This, you can move to wherever you want to. Yeah, I would always leave it slightly one down, but in the centre. And then half press the shutter button and a little green light, that little green box comes on. I'll go closer. There you are. And that lets you know you're in focus. Let's go to AFC. That's continuous. It'll focus if you've got it pointing at your subject. Now we'll go to that little window marker there again. Where my thumb is. And I'm going for the 49 setting. And we'll accept that set. And that's the bigger area as you can see. The yellow is the area. But it also reads all these other whites in the background and averages out. Superb form of metering. The other one that's left is MF. I'm going to put it on manual focus. Yeah, and it says there manual focus. And what happens is you turn the manual focus on the front. That's the zoom. You turn the manual focus on the front and you can see what it's doing there. Closing in for a macro. And closing out. out. You can see the pictures becoming nice and clear. And now you're going out to infinity. Infinity is the mountain sign. But there you are. You can see that's in focus. I'm going to focus on the mouse and that's in focus you can see it's come up you should be able to see it's come up red i have a setting in the camera that i set when it's in focus to come red now you see the black cables in the background turning red and going black i'm just flicking between them to let you see and the doggy getting red parts on it that means your focusing is spot on I better take it out of manual focus <laughs> and I'll put these pages on as well. This is focus, brightness, exposure and coloured focus systems. And it shows you here how to do the different settings and what they mean. Most important is that what they mean. Stop it if you see a bit that you're not sure of. You can always come back to it. The bottom of that page is blank because there's nothing interesting. <laughs> and this is the focus mode, AFS, AFF and AFC. I do slot down into manual focus just to show you a little bit about it, but I shall devote oh, a whole section later on, probably a few, 
just to using all the manual settings for those that want to learn more or not. <laughs> we'll see. And then you've got autofocus mode itself. And this allows the focusing method that suits the position and the number of the subjects to be selected. And it's basically there what I showed you. Tracking if you want to track somebody in the shot. Face and eye detection if you wish to set it that way. And there's facial eye, this face and eye detection, there's tracking, 49 area, custom multi and single area and pinpoint. You need to read them. They all, they all do what they say they're going to do. There are restrictions on it and you'll see that on page 92 of the manual when you get it in front of you. And then there's a part about face and eye detection and how to do it. It's quite complex, but not when you're looking at the screen and you've got the faces in front of you. I haven't got any faces here. The only face is mine. <laughs> and I'll put these pages on for you because you can set the shape of the AF area as well in the custom multi setting. There, you can actually tell it what you want it to be. You might want it to be an upside down cross or something. So that would work. You need to have a look at that. But you can change the shape of it by using the buttons and you can set up the position of the AF area, changing the size of the AF area. There's a lot to do, about seven, eight pages worth here. And you can then set the AF area position on the touchpad. And you have to go into custom with the spanner. That one there. And what you're looking for is touch setting. Touch scroll. And above it you see touch settings. So you go on, I've got that on as you can see, and that will give you autofocus. Now I'll come out of there and show you what it does. I'm going to touch the mouse. You can see the mouse there. And that area is now all in focus. Take your shot. Up at the curtains. Let me just reset that. Up at the curtains. That's now in focus. And when I come down there, the rest of this carpet I've got on the worktop here is out of focus. And that's as it should be. But I'll put the pages up for you so you get to read them and it won't be so confusing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now here comes those pages. There's nine of them. You will have to stop it and have a look with your camera in front of you. Most of the stuff I've in here I've covered, but there's you can see why I'm putting the pages up. It would take me about another 10 episodes to catch up with this lot. You have to sit with your camera and try them all. Find out what's useful for you, what isn't. Face and eye detection, I do use it when I'm in a crowd say a wedding or something where there's a lot of people and I want to focus on five or six people in particular. There's a setting the shape of the AF area. This is the custom multi. And I know it sounds silly, but if you look at that picture, the steeple and so on, it lets you get it spot on. I come from an era when we used to use exposure meters and spot meters. So this camera is a godsend to oldies like myself. You know, it shows you there, touch operation, button operation, and then registering those AF areas to the custom buttons, C1, C2, and C3. So you, you've got them saved all the time. You know how to do that because we've done the custom settings. But very important is what's not available when it's not available, like in 4K live cropping. 
you think your camera's got it wrong because it won't do it. <laughs> and it's not the camera that's wrong. <laughs> and here's another one. Uh, you can't set the focus position all the time. But I haven't found any any of these that where, where you can't set it. I've never, it doesn't apply to me. I've never been in that position. Not with this camera anyway. The touchpad's handy. I must be honest, my last uh, big video camera had it and I, I missed it for a while, but now this has got it. I love it. You're yeah, coming up to the last one. It's called Focus Brightness Exposure and Color Tone Settings. And that's all done through the touch screen and it shows you the spanner with the C setting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this lot. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, don't bother. Subscribe to me and get to know when the next one's listed. Or don't and just trip over it by accident. Bye. <laughs>